Section 32, Airfield and Aircraft Operations. Airfield and Aircraft Operations. The following safety requirements shall be in addition to the airfield's safety requirements. When an airfield has safety requirements that differ from those of this section, the more stringent requirements shall prevail. Construction Safety and Phasing Plan and Safety Plan Compliance Document. Prior to the performance of any work upon or around an airfield, a construction safety and phasing plan and a safety plan compliance document will be prepared by a competent person. The CSPP will follow the guidelines found in the most current edition of Federal Aviation Administration FAA Advisory Circular AC number 150-5370-0. Operational safety on airports during construction. The CSPP and SPCD shall be reviewed and approved by the government designated authority. The government designated authority will provide the FAA a copy of the CSPP and SPCD. The airfield manager shall review and approve the CSPP and SPCD no later than 14 days prior to beginning work. Airfield excavations. Open trenches or excavations are not permitted within the runway safety area while the runway is open or on the taxiway surface area while the taxiway is open. Contractors must mark open trenches and excavations at the site with red or orange flags and light them with red lights during hours of restricted visibility or darkness. Airfield and Aircraft Operations All paved surfaces shall be kept clean at all times, particularly with regards to stones and other small objects that might damage aircraft propellers or jet aircraft. All vehicle access shall be at an entry control point and approved by the airfield manager. Effective control of vehicles required to enter or cross aircraft movement areas shall be maintained as directed by the airfield manager. No use of tall equipment, for example cranes, concrete pumps, etc. shall be used unless an FAA Form 7460 TAC-1 determination letter is issued for such equipment. No use of open flame welding or torches unless fire safety precautions are provided and the airport operator has approved their use. No use of electrical blasting caps on or within 1,000 feet of the airport property. No use of flare pots within the aircraft operating area.